Welcome everybody to Collecting Cassettes. This is where I collect classic cassettes and weekly I will do a review of one out of my collection. Now this week is one of my favorites and it is by the artist Boss and the album is called Born Gangsters. Now Born Gangsters is the only album that she released and it was released on May 25th in 1993 and it was on Def Jam. There were many producers on this project including Eric Sermon, Def Jeff, Jam Master J, T-Ray, MC Search, and a few others. And I thought it was an excellent project when it first came out. Really solid production. She has a great flow. Her delivery was on point. Solid lyrics. So I really enjoyed this one. Now the first time I've heard of Boss, of course, was when I heard the song Deeper, which is produced by Def Jeff. And I saw the video and I, I was just hooked right there. I was like, this is a great song. And it's one of my favorite songs that Def Jeff has ever produced as well. Just came together nicely. It's raw. It's street. It's so good. It did pretty well. It peaked at number 22 on the Billboard Top 200. And it hit number 3 on the Top R&B Hip Hop Albums. It had two singles. And those singles were Deeper. Like I said before, I mentioned that song already. And that hit number one on the rap charts and it hit number 65 on the hot 100. The next single was Recipe of a Ho that hit number one on rap charts and 118 on the hot 100. So they both did fairly well and some of the standout cuts of, of course are Deeper which is incredible. Livin' Loked with uh, the group Onyx was a standout. Two to the Head which was produced by Eric Sermon and I believe he's on this tr the track also. And Red Man did the scratching on that song. I Don't Give a Fuck which was produced by MC Search and T-Ray. And that, that's a strong song. The bass hits hard on it. It sounds great in a nice sound system whether it's in your car or in your home or whatnot. So all in all, there was some standouts here. Um, AMG was on a song, and um, there was a, just a bunch of guest stars and a really nice lineup of producers. A lot of that probably is because she was signed to Def Jam, and a lot of these producers were on Def Jam that helped her along the way. Now, the album was pretty successful. I'm not sure why she never put another album out. I never really looked into it too much, but I wish she would have. I uh, probably would have done just as well. So I hope you liked this quick video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, come back next week. Next Saturday, I'll be doing another classic cassette. Now, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>